Bikeable, walkable, great schools in a fantastic mix of urban and suburban dwelling. Grandview is one of the top neighborhoods in Columbus. What's up guys, Andy Howell here, local realtor and lover, promoter of all things Columbus. And today we are exploring the Grandview Heights neighborhood of Columbus. Before we get into that though, please reach down, hit that subscribe button. I love making videos all about Columbus, the cool things we have going on here. Subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Grandview Heights is a thriving community located just four miles west of downtown Columbus. Residents here can expect an urban suburban mix of dwelling with a warm community atmosphere in a lot of ways, it's really similar to Clintonville uh, in that it's you know, proximity to downtown, real tight-knit community feel. I would say it is a little bit more expensive here. It does have better schools and probably a little bit less of a hippie type feel. We are, as I mentioned, just four miles west of downtown. We're right between uh, 315, 670, and 70. Great access to the Ohio State University and everything downtown has to offer. This area was originally developed around the Marble Cliff Quarry along with the uh, Tri-Village, uh, Upper Arlington, and actual Marble Cliff. In fact, a lot of the limestone that you can see over at Ohio State at downtown various buildings throughout the city is from that very quarry it is still in operation today but it does share its space with the new our newest Metro Park the quarry trails Metro Park uh, check that video out here so the name Grandview where did that come from well it's kind of hard to see today with all this development around around you but if you can imagine you know, 100, 150 years ago, looking east towards downtown, kind of on a hill here, it would be a grand view. The name stuck, that's where it's got its name. Today, as you can see right behind me, there are tons of great restaurants, bars, coffee shops, and great schools, tons of things to do here in the area. So let's break it down a little bit. If you checked out my coffee trails video, you know that Stoffs as a local roaster of coffee here. They got a great little location right here in Grandview. You can sit out, enjoy the coffee, watch the traffic, and people go by here on Grandview Avenue. You can go check out the Grandview Avenue Cinema and Draft House. Go take in a movie, take in a beer tasting. They got like tons of beer taps down there. You can go get a glass of wine, and pair it with a pizza down at Figlio. Go for some fine dining at um, Third and Hollywood. We've got the Avenue Steakhouse right behind me. We've got some award-winning whiskey right here at High Bank Distillery. Check out their whiskey war lines. Most of this is gonna be located really conveniently here along Grandview Avenue. However, some of the newer hot spots like the Watershed Distillery, like the High Bank Distillery I mentioned, are dispersed throughout the neighborhood. So what about parks? Well, Grandview does have about 45 acres of dedicated park space. Uh, the largest of the parks being the Wyman Woods Park, right here down at the bottom of the hill on Grandview Avenue. There's soccer fields, there are playgrounds, there are walking trails you can, you can play with, tons of grassy areas. Most of the parks are going to be along the Scioto River, along the railroad track. Grandview doesn't have as much park space as maybe some other areas in town, but as I mentioned, Quarry Trails Metro Park, not technically in Grand, Grand View, but it is uh, really close by. You can go rappelling, you can go mountain bike riding. Uh, if you find yourself on a snowy day, they even have a dedicated sledding trail. If exploring uh, on your own isn't necessarily for you, there are some guided tours as well. You can go check out the Watershed Distillery Tour. Kind of cool fact that I didn't know until very recently about the Watershed. They made the first legally crafted bourbon in central Ohio post-prohibition. Kind of cool there, right? You can go down the, to the Hofbra House and do a tour of their beer garden, but you can go to the Grandview Avenue food tour. There's the Grandview Brewery tour. Tons of options there. So despite its proximity, its close proximity to downtown Columbus, Grandview is its own town, and that's a good thing with regards to schools. Uh, Columbus City Schools, there are some great individual schools, but as a whole, not very well regarded. Grandview has, according to Niche, and 
everybody I talk to, some really great schools. I think that's one of the reasons, along with all the things to do here and its proximity, that families do love it. So as far as living goes, tons of different options here. As I mentioned, you can get that urban, urban type feel, dense city type living. If you go down to the new developments on Grandview Yard, they've got condos, they got apartments, they got townhomes. They even have some single family living and there's some additional city center type amenities down there, gyms, coffee shops, things like that. But also all surrounding us here around Grandview Avenue are homes that are older, you know, 60, 80, 100 year old homes that are, you know, really walkable to Grandview. So tons of different options, no matter what you're looking for. Grandview Heights is a thriving community, close to everything Columbus has to offer, great schools. So if, if living you know, in a walkable neighborhood with locally owned chef run restaurants is something that you're interested in, Grandview may be the spot for you. Thanks for watching guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what your favorite part of Grandview is or your favorite part of Columbus. Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, have a great day.